Okay, the next step in the process of building this motor, as you can see, is the camshaft installation. Um, basically, uh, to give you a little bit of an idea of what we're working with here, this is a Ford E303 cam, or often referred to as a letter cam, uh, E303 for a 302 roller motor. Now, <clears throat> here's the specifications on a cam. And with every cam you buy, you get a cam card that tells you all the specifications. You need to tell your head shop before you get your heads worked on what's going on. So you want to make sure you got your right springs, you got your, your uh, right settings on everything when they do the heads. So here we go. Uh, we're just basically just taking a quick look at this cam card. Uh, valve setting hot, intake zero, exhaust zero, max lift, intake 110, exhaust is 110 degrees. We have a 311 lift on the intake and exhaust with a 498 on the valve. We have a rocker arm ratio of a 1.6, which is exactly what we're putting back in it. We're using Scorpion rollers, but we'll get to that later. Um, and uh, basically, it just tells you where it opens and where it closes at on your uh, on your timing, um, and what your duration is. So you want to make sure you keep this handy and keep this in your records when you're doing your work. Now, you'll notice that I already have some uh, assembly uh, lube on this. That's because this was already assembled, and I pulled it out to do the video series for the website. Uh, but basically the installation is very, very, very straightforward uh, and you should be very, very, very careful not to get any FM or foreign material on your cam. You want to use lint free if possible, you want to use latex gloves, you want to make sure everything is free of any debris or any contamination. Everything needs to be very clean. So what we're going to do now is go over to the motor, I'm going to show you the basic installation process on how to put this cam in and then uh, show you how to do your timing gears on the next post. I wanted to give a compare and contrast on the two cams. Um, I just want to show you what we were looking at here. This is the old camshaft that came out of the motor and this is a stock cam and it has spent some time on the floor here in the garage. So it does have plenty of FM on it. Uh, but what we're looking at here, you can see that there's a wear line on the cam lobes where the roller would not make connection with the cam and it actually creates a small groove in the cam and causes the cam to wear down. Um, and, and this is just really just evidence of a high mileage motor that, you know, probably, probably was on its, uh, on its final destination here. So I just wanted to show you what the old cam looks like in comparison to the new. And you can really tell the difference looking at them overall. So let's go ahead and get this cam installed. Okay, I have you looking down over the motor here at the cam. And you can see my uh, awesome Crocs here as I'm working here. So sorry about that. But what you want to have on hand in your left hand is some of this ultra slick uh, Permatex engine assembly lube. This is vital for this camshaft installation. So what you want to do first is I'm basically just slipping the cam here into the opening here and I'm just resting it. And what I want to do actually first here is I want to get some of this here to the next bearing back here and I'm going to stop putting the assembly lube on. And what I'm going to do now is in frame, I'm going to take my latex glove with no FM on it and I'm going to move all the lube around on the cam. You want to make sure every bit of this cam is covered in this lube. It's very sticky and is very viscous so it sticks on to everything. It's great for first startup. So what I'm going to do now is just simply slide it in very slowly. You don't want to make any banging noises. Very slow. Don't let the lobes hit any of the bearings. You're going to feel some resistance. When you feel the resistance you move it up or down or left or right. Here we go. Here's it. Here's one of the connecting connection points of the bearing. I'm going to slip that in, make sure it's perfectly aligned. I'm going to stop there. Stop. Even though we have assembly lube on here, we want more. More is better in this situation. So I'm going to go ahead and lube from here back, let it run around, and then I'm going to take my hand, I'm going to move it all on those lobes again. Make sure everything's real slicked up good, and make sure you use rubber gloves, and make sure there's no, no particles or anything on your hands. I'm going to go ahead and start Pushing this in again, working your way in, working your way in nice and gentle, just like that. And we're going to stop there again. Let's repeat the process. Get some ultra slick. Start from here, move it in. Get a good, good liberal mount on there. Make sure it's all on that cam nice. Let's go ahead and get it halfway in now. Gent gentle is the key here. No banging. Ease it into this last lobe here. Now here is where a lot of guys get kind of tripped up because 
you begin, the cam is heavy, so you begin to lose leverage. So as you're working that cam in from side to side, left to right, it's easy, but as it gets down to, to the very end of the cam, it starts to become uh, problematic. So what I'm gonna do is show you a little trick that I do with these cams. I'm gonna go ahead, and you can't see it, it's off screen, but I'm, I'm threading in the camshaft bolt. I'm gonna go ahead and add my last bit of lube to the cam and that gear. I'm gonna work this in again, like we did the, the, the last ones. Get it all over these bearings, everything good. And I'm gonna start to slide it in just like before. I'm keeping support right here with this hand, okay? So we're going in some more, gentle. Don't nick any bearings, it slides in nice. Right there is where it starts to get tough. You can see the bolt here. I actually have this for leverage, so I'm gonna to try to get this in as best I can with just my hands. I'm pulling up and pushing at the same time gently. And right about there is where you're gonna get stuck. So now, what I'll try to do first is just use this as a leverage point here and kind of pry up at the same time and maneuver it. So let's see if we can do it by hand here. Bingo. So what I've done, you'll see here, we're totally in now. So now we can take out our bolt. So what this basically does is it gives you just that added little bit of leverage that you need to work that camshaft all the way into the motor. So I'm gonna unscrew my bolt, put it over here so it doesn't get dirty, and we're gonna test it and everything turns nice. There should be no grit or anything. You should feel nice, tight, clean turns. So now the next important step is getting these aligned and ready for the timing gears. So I'm gonna cut it off here and I'll show you what I'm looking at. Okay, here's the next step in the camshaft installation process. This is the cam retaining ring and it's two respective bolts. Uh, this is gonna be the next piece that you install, but before you do that, since you've taken this off and you've taken the time to spend money on a new cam and everything else, go ahead and clean this part up. There's no reason why this should go back dirty. This is the face of it, but this is the part that actually makes connection with the new camshaft. And you can see it, it could be cleaner. I mean, it's not, it's not super dirty, uh, but again, why not, why not make everything clean and perfect and new again? So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is clean this up and then I'm gonna show you how to put this back on and that's gonna complete your camshaft installation. Okay, if you haven't done so already, I wanna notate a step in the process here. In your camshaft package, it's gonna come with this little dowel. This dowel is very important because this is what synchronizes your cam timing gear. So this dowel needs to mate up with this keyway in order to make a proper connection. So make sure you install that dowel and make sure it's set all the way into the cam. You don't need any special tools for it, just make sure you put your dowel in. There, that's a little bit better. That's after about 10 minutes of soaking in some degreaser and a little bit of elbow grease. You can get that thing pretty clean. Now it's a much cleaner surface for that cam to mate up to. Let's put it on. Okay, now that you're ready to put the plate on here, let me show you exactly what uh, the orientation is here. You'll see on the actual plate, it says back and bottom, which means this is the back of the plate and this faces the camshaft and this goes to the bottom of the cam so this little lobe can cover this here. So. Your orientation is like so. So what I'm gonna do now is put some of that assembly lube on here and then we're gonna be able to install it once and for all. And all I'm doing is just being pretty liberal with it. It can't hurt to have too much lube on it here. So we got a good amount of lube here. So I'm just gonna simply get it started with the first bolt. Sorry, that way. I'm gonna get it started with the first bolt here, and then we'll follow it up with the second one, and then we're gonna torque them down. Fairly straightforward process, guys. Any of you guys can do this. This is a, a budget build. We're doing the E303. You can get the E303 cam for around 200 bucks at Summit, or uh, support your local um, performance shops if you can. I got mine from Gearhead Performance, and they're a bunch of great guys. Totally uh, totally well worth it. A little bit bump in horsepower too. You're gonna get a little more torque. We're building this motor for torque. So here's our, there's our uh, um, camshaft installed. And you can see everything goes in nice and smooth. And we can move our cam around here. 
And our next step on the posts are going to be the uh, timing cover and timing set installation. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you have any questions, pipe them down below. I'd be more than happy to answer them. And make sure you check out 302budgetbuild.com and you can, monitor, you can watch all this entire build and see the pictures and refer to them and everything. I try to take high definition pictures and everything else. So thanks again guys for watching and have a great day.